Dramatic spike. Maryland sees a surge of more than 1,000 new cases. The total now surpassing 5,500 with at least 124 deaths. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. We'll have more on what's behind the uptick in cases in a moment. But first, heartbreak and worry tonight for families with loved ones in nursing homes across the state. Pleasant View Nursing Home in Carroll County is one of the hardest hit. 17 residents there have died. 81 others are sick. WJC is live. Kelsey Kushner speaks with two families, one dealing with a loss, the other preparing for the worse. Kelsey. Well, I think it's just heartbreaking to hear families say they're either being forced to say goodbye to their loved ones or make decisions that two weeks ago, they, these decisions didn't even cross their mind. And we did speak with one man tonight. He says after spending every single day with his wife, he was forced to say goodbye to her through a glass window. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but for Gilbert Goff, this picture of his wife, Betty, just the way she acted, leaves him speechless. Oh, I'm sorry. Gilbert says he met Betty when he was just 17 years old and got married one year later. But as time went on, they grew older. Betty, now 82 years old, was diagnosed with dementia and was placed in Pleasant View Nursing Home in Mount Airy. Gilbert says he went to visit her every day until he had a heart attack on March 18th. Then on March 28th, Betty was transferred to a local hospital and tested positive for coronavirus. Five days later, he was forced to say goodbye to his wife of 64 years through a glass window. Yeah, she was always good to me. I loved her. Pleasant View remains the state's hardest hit nursing home with 17 COVID-19 related deaths and more than 100 staff members and residents testing positive. Rick Manthai says his 70-year-old father, Paul, is one of those residents. He says his dad tested positive on March 28th and is now in the intensive care unit at a local hospital. Nurses told Rick his dad is nonverbal and barely responding to any activity around him. We're just taking somebody else's word on how he currently is, which is the scariest part. He says as the power of attorney, he's now forced to make a decision about his dad that just a few weeks ago was never on his mind. And the hardest part is being miles away in Pennsylvania. Our youngest son, who just absolutely adores him, can't say goodbye. That's the heartbreaking part. I mean, you know he's, at this point, he's probably going to die alone. Now, Rick says that his aunt also tested positive. She is still here at Pleasant View Nursing Home. And we did reach out to Carroll County Health Department. They say that they are still providing resources to the staff members here. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.